Binette, and I'm here live with a conversation uh, with Coco Chanel that I announced early on. Let's see how we can get started. Um, I just want to give you some of the rules of the road. First of all, I don't like entertaining um, questions about how people die and what caused their death and who's going to die next, when. Okay, so that, you refrain from asking those questions. Um, Coco Chanel had a very uh, interesting life. She had a visible life, what we all know about her, and an invisible life, you know, her her um, a period as a, uh, let's say, an informer. Um, so I think most of you may know all of that. Let's see what we can do. Let's start with, I'm always, I'll try to find different people with different questions and not always have the same person asking questions. Let's see, Nirvana Bliss. Let's see. There she is, many thanks. Ask Miss Coco how she was inspired and was she intuitive knowing what she was tapping into upon okay let's see yes i was inspired my work as a fashion designer and other work i had was inspired in part by my intuition and in part by instructions from the people I worked for. I also was inspired by uniforms worn by soldiers during that period. If you can consider the lines were very severe in many of my women's fashion designs. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Nilish, I loved your channeling show on recently murdered Bollywood actor Sushant Singh Rajput. You are right on waiting for justice. Okay. Nothing to do with Coco Chanel. Um, Katie, Katie asked, thanks for sharing. Please ask, COVID has flipped the way the industry works. I imagine you're talking about the fashion industry. Trade policies have also seemed to zap creativity from the work over the last 30 years. What's, what is the future for fashion? Always there is a future for fashion. There is no doubt. So count on that. Remember that there is always creativity. But you do use a key word that links to the fashion industry's production and sales. Bringing together creativity and available funds. There are the laws of supply and demand in any economy. The fashion industry is not different. The future lies in smaller fashion designers who find a key and a niche for their particular design. Fashion designing will be in the hands of the young in the future. New names, new faces, 
and it will seem to the outside world that it is a matter of luck. I believe that luck occurs when preparation meets opportunity in all fields, but the change in relation to the past is that the large fashion houses will be less important than individual fashion designers. They will choose to work in small groups rather than for a larger important name. Have faith in the fashion industry. The king is not, the emperor is not without clothes. <laughs> the emperor is not without clothes. Humor, little touch of humor there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay. Um, Crystal. Crystal asks, love to see you again. It's my pleasure. Would you please ask Coco Chanel what her message would be to us if she has a specific message? Yes, of, of course I do. It is, as I just said, to not lose your faith. There is a difference between trust and faith. Faith goes above all the forests and all the trees. Trust is and can be described as the individual trees. Trust between few people, but faith in your power to go forward. With faith on your side, mountains can be moved. Mountains can be moved. I'm feeling like I'm going into the into into the forest mountains forests countryside let's see um joan hello good to read you hello from norway hello norway joan asks would you ask coco chanel if it is true that she was a spy for the germans in occupied france during the war no i was not, but indeed I was. The answer is ambiguous, but true. There were times when I was on one side only, and then on another side. There was a time when I believed it would be impossible for me to go on playing that game. I even wanted to change my identity and go live somewhere else. But it wasn't possible. Yes, I was an informant. I did not spy on anyone because I was admitted to certain circles and the information I received was received in good faith. 
what I did with that information, you may call it a consequence of spying, but it was informing. It was similar to what you could do today to pay someone for their information. Why I spend time telling you this is because the word spy always tells you of a negative practice when in fact my work as an informant was very helpful to both sides. Hmm, ambiguous too. Seems as if she had second thoughts. Um, Bhagya, Bhagya. I need to ask, uh, she got the name Coco Chanel when her, her or how she got, I guess that's what you're asking. Her original name was Gabrielle Bonheur. There seems different stories about, let, let's see, see different stories about that. No, there is one story. I wanted a name that could serve me and be changed from the name I used in the past. There were several names that I considered. And this name was the one we decided on. I say we because it was a blend, a mix of three different people thinking of what could sell best. The different stories that are told about this name have different points of view, but ultimately the name Coco Chanel was chosen because it could sell. She keeps talking about the economic side to things. Um, let's see, Nirvana. Did Coco ever know her legacy would continue as Chanel high quality brand? No, of course not. Like many famous artists today, from the names of those no longer living, they too never knew and lived a life when they were alive that was quite different. Many, many, many people become world famous after they are gone. This is life. And no, I didn't know. Okay, let's see. All right. Um, was Coco ever able to keep in contact with her sister during her rise to fame? Yes, I was. It was difficult, but we had a close, close channel of communication, not on always steady, but we tried very hard. Not many people know this. We kept our story to ourselves. 
you may not think of me as a private person, but I was. And even though my name was highlighted for the work I did during the war, I did that and was able to do that because it had a hidden quality. I did not like the limelight. I preferred being a creator behind a name. Ah, oh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, will the pricing of Chanel be, still be riding when everything is going down? Will the prices of Chanel, the Chanel brand, still be high? Yes, they will because Chanel was created with the notion of haute couture. It defined that and distinguished that. What you will be seeing in future is the rise of young stylist fashion designers who will be inspired by my work and my name, but who will also say this and declare where their inspiration came from. And those are the moments that I cherish because it means they ride on my wings. Mm. They ride on my wings. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Nirvana Bliss, what do you mean that she had an informer? She was an informant during the war, a spy. The question was, you know, she was a spy. Hello, can you ask Coco if we will have... Wait a minute. L oh, wait a minute. Let me put it on here. Um, can you ask Coco if we will have Mr. Trump will leave COVID? I don't understand. I don't understand if you're asking if he will be dead. I'm not going to talk, deal with that. I'm sorry, Maria. Um, Adriana, Ariana, Ariana, please ask Coco Chanel words of wisdom for women's empowerment. She is one of my great inspirations. Thank you. And power comes from within and not from what you wear. There is the idea when you think of fashion that your beauty could bring empowerment. Not all women think this, but Femininity means power and can be very powerful. There is much confusion for women and there has been confusion for over 50 years about how women can move forward. Should they act like men? Should they compete in a man's world? Wear trousers, pants, instead of dresses. 
how can they act? Should they be seductive or stern? These questions really are not important for empowerment. But what is important is how you express your inner light, how you can show others what you are made of and not use the fear of a lack of empowerment as your guide, but rather just know women are all goddesses. That should be your compass. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Hi, Brown. Let's see. What fashion advice would you have for the woman of 2020 and how they are dressing after COVID has created a more casual attitude? I believe contrasts are necessary. You say and dimension casual. I suggest and foresee casual attire mixed with high fashion detail. An example could be wearing a pair of jeans with extremely high fashion jewelry or accessories or outerwear and underneath more casual clothing. This is what we should be seeing. And the reverse is also true. High fashion clothing and attire with costume jewelry of varying colors and geometrical designs. Contrasts. Contrasts. Um, Priya, is Coco incarnated again? Um, if yes, where and as what? Yes, I am. I am a female. Not living in Europe, but in an African country that I wish not to mention. There is a stigma attached to many different countries. Just know I am there. Priya, so many questions. Um, uh, uh, Bhagya, how do you define a classy woman? Class is a quality that emerges from within. It is all about attitude. And when a woman feels comfortable in her skin, 
she exudes class no matter what she wears mm. interesting i'm going to have to listen again to this video um let's see thank you sunyana sunaina love from india lila should we buy such expensive bags and jewelry or is it better to give money to poor who have not money even for food it's a political question isn't it no i no no it is not a shame to do both these two things have a purpose their own purpose and if a woman desires to do one or the other it should not be criticized or believed to be futile the purchase of luxury items there is a market for luxury items and the reason being because there is a demand perhaps you are talking about espousing both you are perhaps suggesting that people who purchase luxury items should also give to the poor and although of course this is possible it is a prerogative of each individual giving to the poor is also equal to doing voluntary work or offering free seminars anything to do to give back or that helps you to give thanks for what you have and what you have achieved hmm. classy lady indeed um nirvana bliss will young designers come to to the to the chanel establishment after Karl lager Lagerspa, lagerfeld yes and no like i said early before young designers will primarily branch off on their own and they will be more meaningful than larger fashion names the world is a large place and what becomes in demand in most parts of the world are not large and important brand names in future and this is why younger and unknown designers will have success hmm. not sure if i got that understood that um yes crystal we said she has incarnated yeah um katie katie um what was the biggest thing you learned about your life creativity when you passed over to the other side
it was that the problems I had when I was alive were not important. Other things were such as people and my relations, relationships with them. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Priya, did World War II affect Coco, Coco's life in any way? as she lived those times. An important effect was that I took inspiration from uniforms for my fashions. And I turned to a more peaceful existence, trying to make peace and find peace, making peace with myself. Okay. Um, um, okay, whims. How can today's woman exude her sensuality and femininity the best while existing in male-oriented world? Men have been born from women. That is the key. It is important for you all to learn what the mother archetype, all different types of the mother archetype can teach you. One example is how this archetype comes out by fostering understanding of those around you. There is a nurturing quality to this action. The key would be not to oppose, but to, to compose. Not to oppose, but to compose. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Priya asks about time ta travel. Does Coco see it existing from long ago still being used secretly? Yes, time travel has always existed since the beginning of time. Time travel is part of our lives. We do this without even knowing it. And some clues are offered in our dreams, but people who have the, the grace and concentration to meditate easily or with more difficulty can understand what it means to time travel today. Hmm. I have to go back and listen to this. 
Um, okay. Um, Chocolate Thunder. Can you ask her what she thinks of plus sized models? I don't think about them. No. All models are models. The size ordeal is a figment of our imagination and the media as an institution has created a series of sizes. Yes, I admit the modeling industry has perpetrated a look, but today, believe me when I say, you will not be asking that question any longer, even in the near future. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Katie, um, what was the re your relationship with Elsa uh, Schiaparelli? It seemed as though there was an opposition. Yes, there was. She was a very close friend at one time. Perhaps she was and became angry because of a love we both shared. Not literally, but we cared for the same person. And it was impossible for us to be very close because of this. Hmm. Um, T. Rose Lover. What fashion will uh, we be wearing? Will jeans ever go out of style? T. Rose Lover, we answered this about high fashion and, and um, different fashion it was a contrast the idea of contrast we i'm going like this up as if you know the scrolling comes down she answered that more or less we'll have to go back and listen to that um let's see uh what is Premlata, what is her life lesson? What message she wants to convey for this generation, both men and women? More or less, we've answered that, but let's see. Very simply, my suggestion to you is and always will be to spend time with your loved ones and not with frivolous things or worrying about trying to keep up with the Joneses. Only value your relationships and loved ones. Keeping up with the Joneses. Um, um, okay, highbrow. How do you feel about cosmetic surgery, Botox and fillers for staying young looking? I don't care for that 
because remember, I said that beauty comes from within and it always will. Hmm. Okay, Priya, people keep asking me this. You can you can communicate with a soul even when it's alive. We do this all the time without knowing it. Okay, so I keep, I've said this about a hundred times under Sushant's uh, video. Um, let's see. Priya just asks if you have the uh, freedom to choose to be incarnated. Um, what? Let's see what Coco answers. Hmm? Yes, you choose, but there is a sort of negotiation with the divine and other souls because at times a certain soul may be needed to guide others. It changes every lifetime. Hmm. Let's see. Um, Eve, five, sin, I can't answer uh, in, in um, personal questions. Huh? Uh, let's see. All right, last question. If you are reborn in a feminine soul in this life, you can recognize your Chanel products and all. Can you recognize yourself? Do you use it too in makeup or perfumes? No. No. Absolutely not. In my new life, I have nothing to do with fashion. I am involved in finance, which makes me laugh a lot. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Katie, one more question. Katie, do you have a question? Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think I've answered all of the questions. Thank you, Kay, Katie, for that. Namaste, everybody, and thanks for being here, and I will be back soon. Look for my uh, announcements. Bye-bye, everybody. It was a pleasure.